welcome to the channel today i got this package in the mail and we're going to see what it is this is the open ferrament sometimes i order stuff online and it takes a little while to come and when the envelope arrives and it says electrical music and instrument and free aluminium tubes i'm like what is it let's have a closer look so we've got this main circuit board and not most electronic components are on there so that's really good so let's get this open i'd nice to see it in an anti-static bag so that should be protected from any sources of uh, static. And then we've got this front panel, it's kind of reminiscent of like a Euro rack module. We've got the pots and all the components already on there. That looks really good. On this back, we've got this guy and a thank you for the contributors. And this is the website where I got the ferrumin from. So that's really cool. We'll have a quick look at the front. We've got like a volume and pitch control, a register, a timbre, a function, in and out, USB-C, audio and cv i've also got some instructions it does seems fairly basic we've just got to screw some parts together attach the antennae and then hopefully we'll make some wonderful wonderful noises one thing i always think about with the ferrumin is that whoever owns these and plays these will have one or two next door neighbors and then in the darkest and quietest of the night they might be able to hear the the strange wails of the ferrumin playing We've got this nice machine block here that we're going to attach the antenna to. That looks really good. In fact, that's for the base, isn't it? So it's got like a camera tripod type mount. So it seems fairly straightforward of how this screws together. It does have instructions, they seem well written. Is it going to provide like a range of tones or just one? To be honest, I don't mind either way. Now this purchase was a little inspired from going to Simpfest and I've seen the talk on the ferrumin and seen a demonstration of it. And watching someone play it with finesse and play it almost like a cello it was really impressive now i do not expect to make any noises like that and anybody that clicks a video that says you know my first ferrumin i'm going to warn you it's not going to sound good is it it's going to be a little bit of a shock to the ears but i appreciate you clicking this link and, and getting this far and willing to actually listen to this so next I'm going to attach these little holders. These seem to be some type of cable clamp that you use to hold the antennas. I think it'd be difficult to get wrong. I am following instructions as I go. I do like seeing like open source projects and you can get a version of this where you can, you know, create your own circuit board and solder these components together. But looking at the size of some of the components, they are quite small. I'm definitely smaller than what I'd be comfortable soldering myself. So this version of the kit does come mainly assembled. And I think I've picked the right kit for me, looking at it. I am kind of curious to know how it actually works and tear it apart. I did look at some of the uh, the Moog ferraments and think about making a clone of those. But the users like inductor sizes that you can no longer get hold of and also some variable inductors. And I did look around to try and see if that, how available they were and it seemed more effort than it was worth so it's good to see that actually someone's made a kit like this and using modern components. I do believe inside there there is an Arduino and I'm curious to know what code it's running. Now it is open source so I can look at that and if I was a good researcher I'd be able to include that in the video. Maybe that's one for the future to see how much of that code actually influences the sound or how it functions. The potentiometers just push in and that's really nice. That kind of keeps this package really slim, easy to post but fully functional once we kind of clip in the uh, the controls. So it's starting to look mostly there. It's just time to attach some aluminium tubes. So these push in, it did take a bit of force to get them in. And this definitely increases the size of the unit quite a bit. But I think we're ready to turn this on. So as I say, I am not experienced to this, so I apologise straight away. This is not going to be a, a demonstration of what it's capable of. But it is fun. So first of all, I'm just going to click through some of the different options here. It's really good. We've got like a range of sounds.
I suppose one thing about this is it's quite um, instinctive of how you use it. It's very quick to say, this is how you play this instrument. Have a go. So I've had quite d different members of the family come over and I've said, have a quick go of this, you'll enjoy this. Um, so he, he's a little video of my brother and after like two minutes he'd wrote his own masterpiece on it. <laughs> I call this one Animal Death Number Five. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that's it's quite an interesting bit of kiss. I'll include the link to the side. It's not sponsored, it's just something I fancied having to go off. And uh yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy. Do click subscribe. <laughs>